Hey, what's good, y'all? How y'all doing? How y'all doing it, man? I'm outside today getting some fresh air. It's been hot. It's been hot, bro. But it's starting to cool down, so I'm just already chilling. But, uh, yeah. Got some unfortunate news today, man. I know I'm late. It's been like two, three hours, but I've been running around. My birthday tomorrow, if y'all ain't know, June 2nd. My birthday tomorrow. I'm turning 21, man. 21. 21. It's crazy. But, um, yeah, got some unfortunate news today that Stefan, too, it did retire, bro. And when I seen it, I was like, dang, because I know what he's been through. I know he's been battling a knee injury. You know, his brother passed away about a year ago uh, from a, a, a car accident. Or I think he got struck by a car, unfortunately. Um, and, yeah, he's just, he just been going through a lot. He's been going through a lot. It's been a lot going on. And, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's surprising. And before I even jump into what I really want to jump into, let me talk about what I've been talking about the last couple of vids. Y'all Steeler fans are obnoxious. Y'all, y'all, y'all just don't care. Y'all just ignorant. Like y'all, y'all are rude. To keep it short, y'all are rude, bro. I'm seeing, I'm seeing Steeler fans on her talking about, oh, he could have made this decision earlier. He could have let us know earlier. Ain't considering how he retired now. He could have did this before the draft. He could have saved us cap space. Blah blah blah. We should have kept Javon Hargrave all them years. First of all, nobody knew that Stephen Tua was going to retire today. Nobody knew that when we let Javon Hargrave go two years ago, uh, that Stephon Tua was going to retire today. Um, and another thing, it's it's going to take a man more than just you know what I'm saying. He doesn't. He's not going to know right away that he wants to retire from football, the game that he loves. You know what I'm saying. He's not going to know that that he wants to retire right away. That that takes time. This is the game that he grinded for to get to this league, and you know play it at the level that he did play it. So for y'all to even come out here and be disrespectful to Stefan Tua, talking about his inconsiderate and he wasted our time and all that, this man go through real life stuff too. That's why y'all got to realize these football players, any athlete, any fans person, they are humans, bro. They don't work on y'all time. They are humans too. Stuff happens with them too, just like stuff happens with us in the, in, in the regular world. They just got more money than us. That, that's all it is. They just got more money than us. So stop treating them like they're not human too. But more of the story is Stefan Tua, he has retired. It's sad. But honestly, I mean, it's a big loss for us. But at least, you know, we're getting Tyson a little back after his season ended injury last year. You know, uh, we drafted DeMarvin Lill, which I really like. Now he's going to have a big role into this defense now on that D-line. And uh, we, we signed Montrevious Adams, who had a nice second half of the season last year. So, you know, the, 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 the future is bright. But, you know, Stefan Tuit being that pass rusher, Stefan Tuit, you know, helping in the run game. Because uh, we really did miss him last year. Him helping in the run game, it really sucks that he's not going to be here now. Like, this, you know, you know, I kind of feel bad. You know, Cam Hayward, you know, he said that Stefan Tua was going to make a decision about a couple of days ago. He said he's going to make a decision soon, so stay tuned. And honestly, I thought that meant he was playing. I thought that meant Stefan Tua was going to play. But Cam Hayward came out today and said he respected the decision that Stefan Tua has to retire. And Stefan Tua, he made a statement himself. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to just summarize it. Basically, he was saying, you know, after his – he's still mourning the loss of his brother and all that, you know, he's thanking Pittsburgh for all the years that they gave him, you know, everything everything that they did for him. But, um, yeah, it's just that. And he he recently just got his uh, – I believe he got – he graduated from Notre Dame, I believe. So, you know, he's doing, he's doing things bigger than football. You know, he's still grieving the loss of his brother, and he went back to school. He graduated, you know. So life is just bigger than football for him. Like, it's not always, everything don't always got to be, you know, football, football, football. He's a human, too. So, and that's what I need people to understand. These guys are humans at the end of the day, you know. Some people are fortunate to play this game for, for, for 15, 16 years, but some people aren't. You know, some people go through other things. Some people handle other things different. But Stefan it, you know, to me, he had a pretty decent career for seven years. I say about four or five of those, he had a decent career. You know, he, he was amazing. He was amazing. Stefan Tua did some amazing things on this team. And, you know, I appreciate everything he's did for Pittsburgh. And I just need everybody to, to just sit down and take a look at it like, damn, he's a human just like me. Because all the disrespect I'm seeing, talking about he let us on and we could have kept Javon Hargrave for all this, it's disrespectful. It's disrespectful. Y'all like, okay, he retired early. Uh, it's football. We move on. You know, people retire, all the, retire early all the time. Andrew Luck did it. Jordan Reed did it. You know, these are great players. And now... Unfortunately, you know, Stefan too had got it, but we're just going to have to build again. And it seems like the Steelers were already worried about Stefan Tua's decision because, you know, we re-signed Montrevious Adams. Uh, Tyson Alulu's coming back for hopefully one more year. Um, what else happened? We drafted DeMarvin Lill, so obviously we weren't comfortable in the Stefan Tua situation, but, you know, we got to do what we got to do. So I just wanted to come here and let y'all know, man, Stefan Tua has retired, bro, and, 
you know, he had a great career. You know, he will be missed on that D-line for sure next to Cam Hayward. But at the end of the day, we got to move on. So shout out to you, Stefan it. Praying for your mental. I hope everything is okay. You know what I'm saying? I hope you have a great rest of your life, you know, with, with, with whatever else you want to do. It's a whole bunch of other stuff you can do in this world besides play football. So shout out to Stefan it. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. But I love y'all. Make sure I like, share, subscribe. If y'all new, turn on y'all post notifications so I can be the first boys to get my videos. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, please be safe out here because the world we living in is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all put happy birthday down in the comments because my birthday is tomorrow, June 2nd. I love y'all, and I'm out, bruh.